What's going on, everybody? I'm pro singer David Braley, and today we're headed back to The Voice with the lovely, the talented Nina Iris performing Love Song by The Cure. Here we go. Okay, okay, I gotta come in. I gotta come in at some point. Wow! Um, again, Nini, she's just killing it. Absolutely killing it. The levels, it comes in so nice and soft, and her voice is almost, it's, everything fits perfectly. Her grit and her timbre match in really well with this type of, like, just song and that kind of, um, almost like that siren call, very sort of echoey and very lofty and it kind of floats but it's almost ominous but it's seductive but it's yeah really really great great choice by you know arrangers her the choices she's making the uh the the choices that direction i mean everything really really piling on and then right at the end of that intro she shows it out. She just comes out and goes, oh, by the way, like absolute, just up and down. Her riffs, super, super clean, really concise, and just inside of her. She, it's coming out. There's intention behind it. There's feeling there. She's emoting. And it's just really, really wonderful. Really nice to see such a song being uh, conceptualized in such a different way. And I, I enjoy it. All right, here we go. let's go. Before we go any further, if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and smash that subscribe button as well as ring the bell so you get notified every time I post new content. Thanks so much for supporting. Let's get back to it. What a tune. Excellent, excellent work. That, I mean, the song itself is a really, really beautiful tune. I really enjoy it. I don't know if, if you are uh, not old enough to know the original. I do yourself a favor, go check it out because it it's always great to hear that original and then com not compare it, but put it right next to uh, a cover and just see what someone else, how someone else interpreted uh, the song. And this, this interpretation 
It was beautiful. I mean, it was almost cinema, cinematographic. It was like for a movie. It was that walk in, in the big scene in a uh, 30s throwback sort of jazz bar. And someone walks in and is looking for, connects eyes with the with their partner from across the room. And there's this big, intense moment. It really sounded very silver screen, movie, cinema, dramatic. And it really worked for her. Her riffs are super, super clean. That grit, gravelly voice that she has and uses so well, it's transferred from like a, from almost like a detrimental could cause problems down the line into somewhere really safe, forward placed, really just nicely placed on top of everything. If anything of this entire performance I could have used is once again, less compression from whoever's doing the sound that picks up onto, uh, comes into NBC. So yeah, less compress Cause I mean, there was more, it was fuller. She's being pulled in a little bit. And I mean, I know you want to listen to the natural voice because this is a competition. We want to hear the talent, not the effects. And I totally get that. But that song could have totally used like her drowning, parts of her drowning and reverb and echo. So her tone would just stretch and go so much further and really draw out those really cool moments, especially when the background is kind of, uh, until it intensifies, it's very simple, a very bring, 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 mm, you know, and having that big voice and her big voice over top of it to really, and the echo and the reverb filling it all out would have really added a nice bit of texture in there. Outside of that, excellent job. Wonderful, wonderful uh, uh, performance fun to watch. I really enjoyed it. Again, no matter what happens, this young lady has a phenomenal career ahead of her and I can't sit, wait to see what happens. Thanks so much for joining me again, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.